In this video, we're going to animate the entire flower. And in order to do that, what we have to do is make the animation that we have into a movie clip. And then we can do a separate animation on that movie clip. In order to do that, you can come over here where it says flower in your layers panel. If you right click on it, you get a context menu. And notice there's an option here and it says convert mo to movie clip. Or you can push F8 to do that as a shortcut. Now mine is grayed out. Hmm, why is that? Why can I not convert it to a movie clip? Just think about that for a second. Well, if you said that it's because it's locked, you're absolutely right. So let me explain that right now. I need to unlock this. So when I unlock by clicking here, notice that it unlocks all of the different layers in the flower. Now I can right click and choose convert to movie clip like this. So my animations are still there, even though all the key frames went away. So don't worry. I still have my animation here. And don't get scared, but it's now a flower clip. Instead of just flower, we need to go ahead and indicate that this is a clip by renaming it. So double click it and rename. We're going to make it so that the flower sways back and forth. So I'm going to drag my playhead um, to about one second like this. And notice that I'm in animation mode. Uh, so you should be in animation mode too. And I'm going to double click this pivot point here to select it. And I'm going to bring it down to the base of the stem. And now I'm here. And if you get here, you can get out easily. If you look at the breadcrumbs up top here, you're in the flower animation. But if you come back and click scene one, you'll get back to where you were. So do not stress out if this happens. What I need to do is I need to grab the top here and just move it over a little bit so that the flower is swaying. And you can see where the flower was. That's what we call onion skinning. Think about the many different layers on an onion. And so we have this little thin layer called our onion skin to show us where the flower was at the zero second marker. Now, if I scrub my playhead at zero seconds, I'm here. And at one second, I'm there. So let's go ahead and go over to two seconds and let's take it over to the other side here. Just wait, let's get this to two seconds right there. And then let's take it to the other side, just like this. And this is where it's at two seconds. So you can see it's putting the keyframe in every time I add it. Now I want it at three seconds. So I'm going to move this. So instead of just pivoting this back and risking not being exactly where we started, I'm actually going to start on the zero second marker or zero marker keyframe. So I'm going to hold down the alt key on my keyboard. And I'm going to bring it over to three seconds. So what I did right there is I just made a copy that I could then drag over to three seconds. So at three seconds, it is back where I was. So let's just try that. And perfect. All right. That is how you add the swaying motion to a flower. If we click the play button, oh wait, let's start it over just real quick, and now let's see. If we click the play button, like that, you can see that it's animated. It's pretty cool. And the next thing we're going to do is loop the animation, because we don't want it to really stop at three seconds, because that means it's over very quickly. So if we loop it, we can make it last a lot longer. 